The machine you are about to see, was built in one of the countries I most admire. Twelve years ago, I had the privilege of visiting the Netherlands, also known as Holland. A lovely country with 17 million people, and 23 million bicycles. No wonder they are everywhere. One of the things I discovered about the Dutch people, is they love challenges. We can easily see this on their architecture, bridges, and even three-wheeled cars, that lean down on curves. In other words, when they build something, they are never afraid of choosing the hard way. And this project, is no exception. Because all I said, can be easily identified, on the amazing Indian you are going to see. Welcome, to Racer TV. This awesome machine, is one of the most beautiful custom Indians I've found in last years. Despite not being a cafe racer, I can't help but love this project. Especially when compared, to the original version of the Indian Scout. The transformation, is really impressive. And when you know about the details of the project, you will have the same opinion. The man you see here, is the creator of this build. Luke Muiz, the founder of Luke Muiz Creations, from the Netherlands, obviously. He is really a very talented guy. Being only 27 years old, interestingly, he has been building motorcycles for 7 years now. I know there is a question about this project, that you can't stop thinking about. And the question is probably something like, how loud are these very short exhaust pipes? Maybe it's better for Luke to make as a demonstration. But looking to what he is wearing on his head, you probably know already what is coming. M Ride ready. guys enjoyed <laughs> yes very loud indeed the story of this build began in a very interesting way according to Luke the project started before he actually knew about it when Indian motorcycles launched a contest to pick the best design based on the Indian Scout Bobber Luke saw it as a great opportunity to test his talent as an industrial product designer. And this is the concept, Luke competed with. Unsurprisingly, he won the contest. I said unsurprisingly, because it is really an original and bold machine. The prize of winning the contest, a brand new Indian Scout Bobber, and only 20 weeks to build it. And in addition, he could only work on the project after his day job. When Luke started the project, he was not a professional builder yet. 
but with the help of Bert, from outsiders motorcycles, he found a good place to build his Indian. Although the project started based on an Indian scout bobber, the real inspiration came from something much older. The Indian board tracker, nearly 100 years old. The design approach started with a very interesting and pertinent question. What if the visual design of motorcycles never developed in a hundred years, but technique did? In other words, how a century-old Indian scout would be using today's technology? To be honest, from this perspective, I think Luke did a magnificent work. Because this machine is full of surprises. Everything was built around the engine. That is why Luke started by making a 3D scan of the engine, which allowed him to draw on scale all the parts of the entire frame. Sixteen of these parts were sent to Cheffer's Engineering to be milled from solid aluminium. What is really interesting is the fact that the fuel tank is also a structural piece of the frame. And half of it is a cover to hide the electrics and the intake butterfly. He also installed a custom ECU unit to gain some power and torque. The engine ended up with 7 more horsepower and 21 newton meters of torque above the factory original. The suspensions are also a point of interest. Although I think everything on this project is a point of interest. The rear suspension is a one-off system inspired by modern MTB bike design, but these front forks are really something. They were made by Sura Carbon Racing, and just as the name says, they are made from full carbon fiber, with diamond cut ceramic tubes. Believe it or not, these two forks weigh only 6 kilograms. So, until this point, you know that most parts of this amazing project are made from aluminium and carbon fiber. But the exhaust pipes are made of titanium. They were specially made and sponsored by a Krapovic. To make it happen, Luke and Bert from Outsiders had to travel over a 1000 kilometers to Slovenia. But I am sure it's worth it. Because these pipes look really awesome. There are many other interesting details which I can't describe for a question of time. But there is a number that I am sure you want to know. 191 kilograms. This is the dry weight of this machine. A very impressive number, considering the 254 kilograms from the factory original Indian Scout. This project is so successful that Luke finally got his own workshop. This means that Luke is now available for new challenges and to build new custom motorcycles. And I have more good news. If you really love this unique Indian, I have to say it is now available for sale. In case you are really interested, try to contact Luke using the links on the video description. Like I said previously, this project is not really in the cafe racer category. But if you forget this solo seat, it is everything that a real cafe racer should have. Beyond that, it looks magnificent in every way. It really shows the high level of challenge that the Dutch people seem to appreciate. And the young and talented Luke Muiz is definitely an excellent representative of these admirable Dutch convictions.
you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.